Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna get hitched. Right after this. There are a lot of new RVers. RV sales have been up recently and many of you are buying your first RV and we thought it'd be a good idea to start a series of a beginner's guide to RVing. Welcome to the channel everybody. I'm Randy from Zephyrus Travels. This first video is on the hitch system and we're going to go over everything to do with hitching your trailer to your tow vehicle and we're gonna share with, uh, with you some of the tips that we've learned throughout the years and our advice on, on hitching up and getting ready for that first RV adventure. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to see other ones like this and hit the bell for notifications. All right, so let's begin. Your hitch system does four basic functions. It connects your tow vehicle to your trailer. It does weight distribution so that the weight is distributed evenly across all the axles of your tow vehicle and your trailer. It controls sway and it performs safety functions in case your trailer becomes unhitched. So how does it do these things? To hitch the vehicle to your trailer, you have a receiver and a ball and a coupler. And this coupler locks onto the ball and the receiver is attached into your trailer. To do weight distribution, you have torsion bars right here and here. These connect between the trailer and the tow vehicle and they're essentially heavy duty springs. In this case, these are 10,000 pound springs and it prevents your trailer from sagging at the hitch point so that the weight of the tongue of your trailer is distributed to the rear wheels of your tow vehicle and to the front wheels of your tow vehicle. In our case, our trailer has a 900 pound tongue weight, and I know at least two to 300 pounds of that tongue weight is distributed to the front of the tow vehicle. It makes sure that you go down the road much safer. You have sway control. And so in this, this is an equalizer hitch system. And the way this hitch system controls sway is by friction points on the torsion bars. So the torsion bars attach to the trailer and at that attachment point the bar is has friction and it slides back and forth when you turn making it harder for the trailer to turn on its own and in doing so it controls the sway of the trailer when you're going down the road. So what you want to make sure is that when a strong wind hits your trailer when a large vehicle passes your trailer, that doesn't cause your trailer to sway back and forth because that's basically your trailer trying to push your tow vehicle. The friction points between there is what helps. The other aspect of a hitch system is safety. And so every hitch system has safety chains and a breakaway cable. This breakaway cable will apply the brakes if forever any reason your trailer becomes uncoupled from your tow vehicle. So we're gonna go through all these different steps and hitch the system up. So first there are some things that you always wanna do before you hitch your trailer up to your tow vehicle. You wanna make sure that your stabler jacks are raised and you always wanna make sure that when your trailer is not hitched to your tow vehicle that the wheels are blocked so that it does not move. So let's take care of that now. All right, so let's raise up our stabilizer jacks. We also want to make sure that we have blocks on the wheels, and so we'll take over and show you that. We're going to assemble our hitch system. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the receiver into the truck and connect it. So this is the receiver for your trailer hitch. It has a square shaft that goes into the hitch on your tow vehicle, 
and that's held in place with a half inch pin and a clevis pin. So we're going to slide this into the truck and we will kind of talk a little bit more about it. So you slide it into the hitch on the truck until holes line up and then you drop the pin through it and then use the clevis pin to hold it in place. So this hitch is made up of some basic components. They are the, there's a two inch ball. There are attachment points for your weight distribution bars. This is an equalizer hitch and it may be different than hitches that you have on your vehicle. This uses a four point sway control. So this is a friction point here and friction points on the other end of the weight distribution bars. Optional to lubricate this section. If you need more sway control, you would not want to lubricate this, but if in your case, your trailer doesn't need as much sway control like our Airstream does, I keep this lubricated. You do want to lubricate your ball. You want to make sure that there's a coat of grease on that so that it lubricates the coupler on your trailer. The next step is to back the truck up to the receiver on the trailer and connect the two. This is your tongue jack, and you want to extend the jack to raise this up. And you want to make sure that the coupler is higher than the ball on your trailer hitch so that you can back the one into the other. So one of the things that's nice, if your tow vehicle has a backup camera, it helps to align everything when you're backing up and it allows you to do this almost single-handedly. As you can see, my receiver clearly lining up with the coupler on the trailer. And now I wanna make sure that one's right on top of the other. Or check it right there, that's probably about where it needs to be. Now that you've backed your tow vehicle up to your trailer, you wanna lower the tongue of the trailer down onto the hitch bar. Don't worry if it's not perfectly lined up. In most cases, it will adjust and slide. In. Once your coupling is down over the ball, you can drop the latch down to connect the two together. So now we want to add the weight distribution bars. So the first thing you want to do is you want to raise the trailer up, lifting both the back of the tow vehicle and the trailer to an extended height. This will allow you to slide the bars in. It's always a good idea to inspect your equipment when you're hitching. One thing that I noticed was our clevis pins for our weight distribution bars were getting a little rusty and I was concerned that they might fail. So I purchased two new ones to replace them and this will make sure that this stays hitched for many, many miles. At this point we want to attach the weight distribution bar to the receiver. In our case, they slide right in to the receiver here, and that's held in with a pin and a clevis pin. Now you want to bring this over and set it on this mounting point here, and it is locked in with this pin. Now, your trailer may be different. Some trailers use or some hitch systems use chains and you may have separate sway bars for this. But in our case, this is an equalizer hitch and sway control is in the weight distribution bar. So let's do the other side. Okay, so now with the weight distribution bars in place, I can take the weight off the front jack and distribute it to the trailer and to the tow vehicle. Now that we have the trailer coupled to the tow vehicle and we have our weight distribution bars in place. We pull the jack system up. We want to make sure that you raise the base of the jack 
will clear any obstacles while you're towing. The next thing to connect is our safety chains. You will notice that my safety chains cross. And when I connect them to the vehicle, I want the hook part to be on top. I don't want to underhook them like this. I want to bring them in and connect them like that. So you see my chains are crossed, which in the event that this trailer became unhitched, it would catch the tongue of the trailer into the chains and keep it from dragging. All right, now after we've connected the safety chains, we want to put the breakaway cable. We want to attach that next. And that's this cable here. It goes down to a switch here that in the event that this trailer becomes disconnected, it will pull this pin out, locking the brakes onto the trailer. A lot of people will just connect this to their tow vehicle and leave this at a longer length. My concern with that is that you want to make sure that your brakes apply on the trailer at any point that this becomes uncoupled. And you want to do it while your safety chains are still connected so that you can control the trailer, but you'd want the brakes on the trailer so the trailer doesn't go ramming into the back of your tow vehicle. I take, the, take this and I loop it through the trailer hitch through the same connection point that I do my safety chains. I bring it back and I use this pin here to lock down my coupler and then I apply this cable in there. Now this cable is short enough that if it became uncoupled here, it would immediately pull the brakes on the trailer and then I can still control the trailer using the, the trailer brakes and the safety chain. The last thing you want to hook up is your power connection. That plugs in right here. I have a couple bungee cords on it just to make sure it stays engaged. We've had issues with the way the Ford 7-way plug is attached to their trucks. These sometimes can become partly dis disengaged and I've had the brakes to the trailer not be engaged. So this is it. Everything is connected and we're ready to take off on our next adventure. That concludes our video on getting hitched. We've shown you the different pieces of the trailer hitch system. We've shown you the safety aspects, the weight distribution aspects, the coupler, and the sway control. Now, if you have any questions on any of the stuff that we went over in this video, leave us a comment. I will be happy to answer them. And if you'd like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube analytics and getting our videos seen by more people. And if you want to see more videos on this beginner series to RVing, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notification because we have a number of videos that we're going to be putting out in the next few weeks on getting started with your first RV. So until the next time, everybody be safe and we'll see you down the road. Bye.